Here at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, we're tackling some of the most important problems facing the world. We're using our neutrons, our high-performance computing, and our understanding of materials to find better solutions for energy, for national security, for the environment. Are you ready to help us with that mission? I'm working on a project for the National Guard uh, trying to determine which uh, cities, which major metropolitan areas, are going to be coming out of the recession. I've been working with carbon fiber and polymer composites research and creating preforms and panels with the robot behind me. I'm working on a project called Sensopedia. It's sponsored by the Oak Ridge National Laboratory where it's um, sort of like Wikipedia or Facebook or Twitter, it allows people to socially network through sensors throughout the country. We're studying uh, nuclear reactions that occur in stars. I've worked on three main projects that all deal with carbon flux in the soil and in trees. This summer I'm working on climate models and how uh, climate change is affecting biodiversity uh, on our planet. So I came here as a postdoc and I've stayed here for 23 years and uh, there's not a single day that I was not excited about coming to work. Why is that? It's because we have the world's greatest unique facilities that allows us to imagine solving some of the important challenges. We've got some, uh, some challenges out there in terms of um, resources, energy, fuel price, and we need really talented people with really good ideas to help us um, address these challenges. It's almost like the next Manhattan Project. We need the best and brightest minds to help us uh, address our energy challenge. When I came to the lab, I don't want to play in a sandbox and just publish a great paper. That's great for people who want to do that, and I think that's necessary and needed. But being able to actually reach out and impact society. Our lab, the Oak Ridge National Lab, does that better than any national laboratory in the country. I feel like the research that we do here is important because we're looking at something that the American public is very interested in, so global climate change. And so I think that's really easy to translate to students coming here, that that's important because they're reading it every day in the newspaper. So if they think about carbon dioxide or, or carbon trading or, or anything like that, I think that it can really strike home that if you can explain to them why, if they're looking at this particular root or this particular piece of soil, how that translates to the global carbon cycle, and why that's important to us as a society. I think there are lots of implications there. The uh, Western economies uh, through the 20th century really took advantage of advances that were made at the end of the 19th century in terms of thermodynamics and electromagnetic theory and turned that into uh, an industrial powerhouse. Well, we're now having to move beyond that economy, beyond that era of, of uh, the fossil age and uh, those who figure out those solutions for the future will be uh, creating the world that our children and grandchildren will inhabit. You're working in an environment where there are colleagues, other students, other postdocs, but also bright, young and experienced scientists who challenge you. But then again, this is an environment where you get to challenge them because the, the science is give and take. But most importantly, we, we have that global reach from, from this uh, laboratory where we have scientists from all over the world who come here, people that you have read in your textbooks, that you've heard about. They come here if sometimes for a day to give a seminar, sometimes to come and work with us for a week or a month or a year or two. And so this really is, science is a contact sport, and the reason why you're here is you get to contact, you get to touch, you get to interact with the brightest minds in the world, uh, work with the best, fastest, most unique facilities in the world, and really some of the most challenging scientific problems. It is, it is like going to Disney World, only better. I would recommend the Volkswagen program to my friends, and I would tell them that it's an incredible opportunity to learn and to get hands-on experience with automotive-related research. I like getting to work in the lab, and uh, I like the people I work with, and getting to come outside and work directly in the soil and deal with the plants. It's been a lot of fun. The thing I love about being an intern at ORNL is the diversity and the, the things that I'm exposed to here. Um, it's like I never thought I would ever be working at a national laboratory ever. It's, it's great. I, I would highly recommend this program to my colleagues. I think that uh, this program really allows teachers to experience science in its uh, natural environment 
uh, and seeing science as it's really done and not just portrayed in a classroom setting. The coolest thing about ORNL is probably the diversity of people out here. I think the neatest thing about ORNL is the community. You walk around and you know that people are doing science here, research here, and that uh, it's just an interesting group to go to different talks, hear what everybody's doing, and it creates a community that you only really get on university campuses and places like this. Are you ready to dig a little deeper? Are you ready for the world's fastest supercomputer? Are you ready to advance solar energy in the United States? Are you ready to transform the nation's transportation system? So, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready to join us at Oak Ridge National Laboratory as one of the next generation of scientists?